Graham, after 22 minutes, Almanis sent off and they, they scored and Michael Haller went off an injury. What, what was the thoughts at that, at that time of the game? Um, you fared a worst, obviously, because it was so early on in the game. I thought it was a bit of a harsh sending off and all, but these things happen. But um, I think the thing that surprised me most is how positive we were afterwards. We kept the two up front, which uh, made a massive difference for us. And the three lads in midfield were asked to put in a massive shift. Uh, so was Maka. It helps. He drops in. It's his natural game. But um, just just been positive was the main thing. We just we didn't change much with regards to shape and stuff. We just I just felt we always like were in the game and stuff like that. Normally with ten men, you uh, you might have backs to the wall, but it didn't seem that way. If, if if I'm being honest, I thought we were the team with eleven men against them with ten because we control the game. I don't I don't know the possession or shots or anything like that. But when I was playing, you always just felt that we were the better side. Um. Was there a motivation after the send, sending off for the guys to come back and, and dominate the first half and the second half the way they did? I don't think it, sending off motivated people. I think when you're losing a game, it motivates you to come back in. But I think when we got in half time, I think there was everyone just felt in the dressing room that if we get that goal, we'll get the second one. Um, we've pushed on Xander, in fairness to him, he's come on and he was outstanding. I thought he was different class today. I mean, it's his kick for the second goal that sets up the second goal, really. It's, I've never seen someone kick a ball so far because it's a big pitch out there and he's he's put his laces through it and he's, uh, he's, he's been brilliant because he could have come on. He's probably not expected to play today and I must give him credit, he was outstanding for me. Uh, with Xander, that's his, the first time St Johnston fans have seen him play in a competitive match for St Johnston, but you train with him all the time as well. He's a great go- goalkeeper. Yeah, well, well, in pre-season, I've, I've never like I've never seen Xander myself till pre-season. I thought he was outstanding in pre-season and uh, in training and stuff like that. He just gets that big arm, just comes out like, and you just you can it's it's tough for Xander because he's behind that who's a fantastic keeper as well. They're two fantastic keepers like, and Xander's still very young and he's he'll he'll learn and. The more he goes on, the better he's going to get. Like so, like I said, I can't praise him enough. But Al's been super as well for us all year and stuff like that. And I thought it might have been a bit harsh and all, but like fair play to Zander, he's come on, and he's, he's done brilliant for us. What's your memories of your equalising goal? Um, I just thought to myself, instead of running into a position, just maybe just wait for it and try and attack it when it comes in. And when I've headed, it, I've actually thought it's gone over the bar. And I was just thinking there's my luck again because I've missed the header last week at Kilmarnock. I know Dee's put it in from the rebound and got me out of jail. But um, it was just one of them things that plays on your mind when you miss and miss. But I, I thought, like the last few weeks, I still think I was getting chances and stuff like that. So I did feel that a goal was coming. It's not like I've gone into games and never had a chance. and. It's just, I don't know, it's just gone in, people, I haven't seen it properly like that, I've just headed it and just it's dropped in, so hopefully I'll get to see a better look at it later. When, when you scored, you ran across to, to the main stand and pointed, pointed towards the crowd? Yeah, yeah, the, my mum and dad came over this morning and my wife, she she only, she only comes to games and she's got like people to go with, so it's brilliant to score in front of them and when her family were over, they were over for the Hearts game, so um, I've two and two with people over and stuff like that, so... Hopefully it'll give him a reason to come back more. It was 1-1 and being a man down would have been understandable to, to maybe hold out for a point but then pushed in, got a winner through Simon Lappin. Yeah, I think when I went 1-1 at one stage they, they did keep possession very well against us and I thought we might have to sit in here and dig this out to one all. but um, I think when uh, when it's come up to me I've just heard so I just call it and you just know exactly where he's run his finish, like I said, to get it up and down from that close next to the keeper and he's not he's not had a big target, he's put it right into the corner as well. So he like I said, I think I said it earlier, he's gotta feel hard done by that. He's not played today, but he's come on and he's made the difference and that's what you need from everyone in the team. Um, what was that feeling like when the final whistle blew and there was, there was celebrations on the pitch? It was I don't know, it was just it was a massive relief because I think we've worked so hard when you go to one ahead, I think if we conceded that equaliser would have deflated us a lot, but it just really means that we're getting momentum going because we hadn't had that two wins in a row yet this season, so we've got momentum and we've another very tough game next week away at Aberdeen. It's a real fortress, McDermott Park, now unbeaten at home. Yeah, we are, and I think I, that was actually going through my head during the game. I was thinking, I don't want to lose this unbeaten record because I don't want teams to come here because sometimes if you lose one or two at home, or one, it can lead to two or three, and we fought, we dug in, like I said, and we got that victory, which I, I felt we did deserve. Well done, Graham. Thank you.